with blood in it. Are you kidding me? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sitting in the Backyard. Dude, my wall looks horrible. Don't pay attention to that. We're just gonna, there we go. Don't pay attention, <laughs> don't pay attention to that. Oh my God, that one's worse. Here's a question for you guys. My stupid, I lost my gorilla pod and now I have to hold the bottom of the camera like a Neanderthal. The heck? I have a question for you guys. Do you want to see myself build my empire, kingdom, kind of, what's, uh, house, village, town, outhouse? <laughs> Do you guys want to see me build that for my photography business? Like, I have plans to go talk to uh, business owners, go talk to people, go talk to everything like that. Do you guys want to do that? Uh, also, sorry, there wasn't a video today, which is, what's today, Tuesday, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, the 22nd. Sorry that didn't happen. Uh, my computer, like, locked up or something. I don't know what happened. I couldn't use my keyboard to log into my thing. I tried different ports, tried different keyboards, tried different mouse, and for some reason, somehow it just worked. I don't know what happened. I was out of a computer almost the entire day. So, do you guys want to see that? Actually, you're coming with me on the weekend, uh, 22nd on the Saturday. So today's Wednesday, whatever Saturday is in two days. Um, we're gonna be shooting a couple with a kid and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, we're gonna drive around and I'm so stoked for it. I cannot express because this is like my first, not couples portrait, but like family portrait session. And I think I can learn a lot from it. And also, uh, you guys might want to know the deets about it. I went down to go to my parents on Mother's Day and uh, we went to church and I met a couple there. They just got married and I said, hey, I'm a photographer. Do you guys want pictures? And they were like, absolutely. I was like, I'm not going to charge you or anything. I just want to take pictures of people. And they were like, done. And I was like, where do you live? They're like, we live near you. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And I also didn't know that they had a kid, but also she is expecting. And so it's kind of like a maternity slash expecting slash couple slash engagement slash literally every kind of picture known to man. So I'm super, super excited for it. Um, my arm is tired. Uh, let's see what else is happening. That's pretty much it. So if you guys want to um, come along with me, I was thinking about also doing like miking myself and going to talk to business owners. That way you can actually hear like the verbiage. Uh, cause I think that would be really cool. Like I wish somebody would tell me what to say cause I'm just winging it. Like, uh, hey, do you need pictures? This is what I can do. Here's my portfolio. I actually put my portfolio on an iPad so I don't look like a loser, like carrying a book or showing them on my phone. Like I have an actual, like my iPad Pro, I show it to them in crispy like 4K or whatever the resolution is. And they're like, oh my God, these are really good. Uh, so that's kind of what happened also with the wedding. The little wedding venue thing that I posted about on Instagram. If you don't follow me, follow me roll the Facebook Instagram thing right here. I actually joined a Facebook group that was for weddings and uh, somebody messaged me and they said, hey, we're having a thing. We wanna know if you wanna be like a pervert vendor. They don't know anything about what I've been doing. I think they maybe seen like some of the pictures that I've taken, uh, but they were like, yeah, come out. We'd love to meet you, yada, yada, yada. I went out there, took my iPad, talked to them and they were like, oh my God, these are really good. We definitely want you to come back and do some pictures for us. And I was like, that's freaking awesome. I handed out my business cards and they were like, yeah, there's actually a wedding happening right now. I was like, I have my camera. Do you want to me to get some shots? And they were like, we don't know. We have two photographers and a videographer here already. Let's ask them. They talked to the head photographer and she was like, yeah, get your camera. Let's do this. So I got to tag along and take pictures with these guys. And some of these pictures came out really, really good. Uh, I'll just show you like the raw images. Like I haven't post-processed any of these. I haven't done anything with these, uh, but I'll throw them up on the screen. You can take a look at some of them. Like these are super, super cool. Um, and I'm glad that I got to be a part of it. And also, uh, I did learn a couple things there. Like definitely check the settings on your camera before you start shooting. <laughs> Like some of them came out like really blurry and some of them came out like really dark. And I was like, okay, I know how to fix this. But the thing with weddings is I feel like every single moment is a moment that you can capture if you have your camera ready. If, if like, let's say the bride and the groom meet each other for the first time and you don't have your camera ready, 
you missed that moment and there's nothing you can do to get that back. You can't say like, oh, figure this out. Dude, why did it get so bright all of a sudden? Can, I, can you relax? Like, good God. So that's a thing that happened. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about weddings. Like, I, and I was super stoked. Like, I took uh, like 400, 500 pictures or something like that. Um, so I'm honestly super excited uh, to get back in touch with these guys. They actually texted me today. They said, hey, we'd love to see your pictures. I got their email. I'm going to Lightroom some of them. going to Photoshop some of them. See kind of how they came out. Maybe I'll do that first and then post the post process. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you. Maybe. Or I'll just throw them up in here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hey, was that a spider on me? Is that a thing that just happened? The heck was that? It just like... Oh, it was a mosquito with blood in it. Are you kidding me? Look at this mosquito. Can you see that? It's like literally, oh, it's right there. Oh God, it's on me. You got blood in you, dude. Oh, none of that. Are you kidding me? That's how you get like malaria. So let me know if that's something that you guys want. I feel like I need to walk around now. Let me know if that's something that you guys want. Like if you want to know how to even just like, you know, like start your own business. Cause that's kind of what, that's kind of what I used to do is I used to do uh, like business consulting and stuff like that. So I feel like this is going to be a pretty cool thing. And also if I do make it and I do make something crazy awesome and I make like a huge business and I have a couple of photographers underneath me and we're going out and we're doing all this cool stuff and we're doing destination weddings or even just destination like photo shoots. Like if someone's like, Hey, I'm over here and uh, you know, Maryland and I want you to take pictures of me, I'll pay for you to come out. That would be super cool. I'm thinking kind of like documenting my journey. Uh, and it doesn't matter if this thing gets like 10 views. I just want to see maybe like how far I've come. Maybe I'll maybe like watch this in like five years, three years, two years and say, wow, this is what I did. This is where I started. I started in a backyard talking to a camera and saying, Hey, do you want me to, uh, document my journey? So to speak. Right, so I figured I'd give you guys kind of like a little update. Uh, I know the video games is kind of getting tiring, but I'm trying to not be lazy. I also want to do this for like an accountability thing because I'm just super lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and what I want to do is I need to get a fire under my butt and go out and go talk to people. I, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I can't really think of anything else. That stupid mosquito did bite me. Was that thing sucking my blood? Was that better have been my blood? or I'm gonna be upset. That was probably my blood. I moved from Alaska to not have mosquitoes and a freaking mosquito just bit me. Are you kidding me? Dude, I can't believe that thing just bit me. Ugh. For those of you that follow me on the gram, you know that, uh, pre that last picture that I just posted to the watch, I actually tagged the watchmaker and they started following me on Instagram. I was like, what? What is happening? So that's pretty cool. Also, I think that they want me to give away watches to you guys. I'm not sure. Like they sent me a message. They said, hey, thanks for the support. We love what you're doing. If there's like a giveaway or something that we can do, we'd love to help you out. But I don't know if they were talking about their story or I don't know. They had like very broken English. So, but either way, they followed me, which is pretty sick. And I still have a couple more pictures to uh, post to them. So hopefully they'll be like, dude, this guy's really good. Let's have him do more stuff. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You guys know what to do. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. I'm more active on Instagram because I get those alerts on my uh, phone and it says, hey, someone messaged you. And so I'll, I'm a pretty quick reply. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to, no, not even if you like this video. If you want to see a documented journey, leave a like. Uh, and then also leave a comment on kind of what you wanna see or what questions you want answered. Um, Cause I don't think I'm the best in the field as far as like business development, but I definitely have some experience. Subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you guys in the next video.